Bronx is on the rise. I think the most visible evidence of the revitalization is really the large-scale projects, the new Yankee Stadium, the Bronx Terminal Market. It's no longer the days, uh, as Howard Cosell put it, the Bronx is burning. The Bronx has come a long way since the 1970s when it was synonymous with crime and urban decay. Today, the Bronx is the site of an ambitious experiment in problem-solving justice. The experiment is taking place here, in one of the busiest courthouses in the country. The experiment's name, Bronx Community Solutions. We can be part of the solution, not just part of the problem, because we are part of the problem. The courts are part of the problem when they simply take in a drug addict, adjudicate the case, and put out a drug addict on the streets. And we are doing that over and over and over again. We don't have to do that. We can do better than that. Conceived by the Center for Court Innovation, the independent research and development arm of the New York courts, Bronx Community Solutions was created to help the courts respond more effectively to nonviolent crime, like drug sales, shoplifting, and prostitution. The challenge is responding to the problems that people bring to court every day, whether it's drug addiction or mental illness or unemployment, and doing so for tens of thousands of people a year with the goal of preventing them from coming back to court again. Not just myself, but other judges are looking for options. Bronx Community Solutions offers us uh, a wealth of opportunities to dispose of a case. Bronx Community Solutions builds on the pioneering work of earlier community courts in New York, such as the Red Hook Community Justice Center and the Midtown Community Court, which sentence low-level offenders to community restitution and social services. Now that we know that community court, that that wonderful idea works, uh, we want to expand its reach uh, so that as many communities as possible benefit from the new approach. And haven't we found the perfect opportunity for taking the community court idea to scale? With Bronx Community Solutions, we're not talking about a single courtroom or a single judge or a single neighborhood. We're talking about tackling an entire borough and working with dozens of judges and dozens of courtrooms in a busy criminal courthouse. Bronx Community Solutions has been able to give judges throughout the courthouse new sentencing options for quality of life offenders. The goal is to combine punishment and help. A few more questions. Are you employed by now? I'm unemployed. Bronx Community Solutions has a structure which, which allows us to feel more confident that when an alternative sentence is imposed, that there will be consequences. It's definitely very important that you do show up. Because if you don't show up, the warrant will be placed out. So then we'll put a note in the system to show that you at least appeared. OK? All right, Mr. Peener. Thank you. That's one of the pluses for the program, that it is pretty immediate. And that is an assurance to the court uh, that this is going to be a uh, sentence that's going to be carried out. Low-level offenders pay back the community for the harm caused by their offending by painting over graffiti, cleaning up trash, and planting flowers. We are standing on the future site of the Mount Hope Housing Company's community center. The young people that you see in, in the background are actually working as part of a community service project. And they've been very instrumental in helping us to address the, the dumping that's been done on this site. It feels good to work with you know, a bunch of guys giving back. You know, I know I committed something wrong, but I'm making it better by helping out the community. And I feel great about that. Community service is just one side of Bronx Community Solutions. The other side is links to services that can help offenders change their lives. Our commitment to you is this. If you will show us that, that you're ready and willing to work and to, to do what you got to do, um, we will stay with you to help you advance your career goals. Certainly programs like Bronx Community Solutions, which help people not to reoffend end up serving all the actors within the system and end up serving the public. Whether it's here on site or with uh, several of our social service partner agencies, we really can address a lot of the issues that many of our clients come to us with, whether it's mental health, whether it's a medical issue, substance abuse, employment issue. Now this group is really aimed at 
making rational, wise decisions. Now, who in here can, we all can work on making better decisions in life. We know we're not bad people, right? But we can all make bad choices, right? I was arrested eight times, and the last time I had to do three days of community service. And that's when I met Mr. Robert Fagan. That's where I started my journey. I look at this picture and I say to myself, yeah, I man, look at it myself. <laughs> oh, wow. This was the old Susan. This is the real, this is the real Susan. You know, they make you feel like a person. Respect, you know. I, I can say that. I can really say respect. One of the unique features of Bronx Community Solutions is its community advisory board which brings together business, residential, and government leaders to help set program priorities. It's good when, when the community can be in dialogue with the judicial system and to really say, uh, you know, to say more than just, uh, you know, the system is mistreating us, but to be able to say, you know, we in the community have some, you know, we have some very similar desires and needs. We, we want our children to be safe. We live here. We want our streets to be safe. The U.S. Department of Justice is closely watching the Bronx Community Solutions experiment. We believe that this is the beginning of a movement, that we will have the ability to both demonstrate to Congress and certainly the President the value of community involvement in providing solutions, because the answers are here. We think that if this approach works in the Bronx, it can work in any large urban city in the country. I'm a Bronx resident, and to tell you the truth, if they can turn some of the people around who are committing the crimes in the Bronx. It's better for me and my family. When it's about people, you can sometimes benefit those law-abiding citizens and benefit the people charged with crime at the same time. And that's what we're trying to do here with Bronx Community Solutions. The early results have been promising. The project has reduced the use of jail. Compliance with community service has increased and offenders have contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of labor to the community. This judicial experiment in problem-solving justice is showing that it is possible to rethink business as usual in even the busiest of criminal courts. You know that we are always going to be here for I believe that. I keep saying, if it wasn't for you, hey, I don't think I would have done it. Thank you. Thank you, yes.